It is an honor to be here with you today and a privilege to be back in beautiful Nepal. My, my first visit was in 1978. And every time I have visited, I have been astounded. And this trip has been no exception. What I've seen and experienced in the past few days will stay with me always. The sunlight hitting the Himalayas, the warmth of the people, the richness of your cultural diversity, and of course, the sanctity of Lumbini. I thank the government of Nepal for your invitation, your hospitality, and your welcome to me and to my delegation. Excellencies, we meet today amidst the world in turmoil. Decades of progress on poverty and anger are being reversed in large parts of the world. Inflation is undermining household and national budgets. Families and countries alike face financial crises. Women are underrepresented and underpaid. And I recognize the enormous effort that Nepal is doing in the way for gender equality, full gender equality, and I praise your efforts and its results. Violence and conflict abound. While the conflict in the Middle East is thousands of miles away, Nepalis were among the many victims of Hamas' brutal attacks in Israel. I send my sincere condolences to the families of the 10 Nepalese students who were killed and express my best wishes for the safe return of Mr. Bipin Joshi, who is missing.